morning from beautiful Iceland, you guys. Day five, we are here at this awesome plane. Guys, join us today as we explore this wreckage. Also doing some other epic things today, waterfalls. I'm attempting to walk into the rainbow right now. You name it, stick around, it's gonna be awesome. What's up everybody? <laughs> Welcome back to day five here in Iceland. We got an earlier start today and made the drive out to the middle of nowhere. We got the sun <laughs> just peeking out there. It, it is, is the clear. most beautiful sunrise right now, you guys. We haven't really been able to see a sunrise because we've had so much clouds every day, but this sunrise is like blowing my mind. And then on Daniel's side, we have Mr. Moon out there. I don't know if you can see that. They're directly opposite each other at the moment and it's kind of cool. It's so cool and the mountains are all snow covered and they're turning pink and purple. It is so stinking beautiful The craziest out here. thing of all, we brought sunglasses today. I know, look, they're on me. You I'm gonna have to news? put them on later. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Guys, this is a day of firsts here in Iceland. Very excited about it. But before we get started with today's video, we had a little bit of entertainment last night. We did. He's not lying to you. Last night, the Northern Lights came out to play and it was so awesome. They were pretty faint, but we still got some epic shots, photo and video of them. We're gonna show you right now. capturing some northern light action out here. I want some more activity. I want them to start dancing. <laughs> Maybe if we turn the spotlight off, we'll see more. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to take in nature here. Could you please, sir? Michelle's grabbing some long exposure shots. I'm gonna go grab one of her lenses. She has wider apertures and get more light in there. See if I can get some video of these things. <laughs> Clouds rolled in and the lights went away. Maybe we'll go finish our episode of Seinfeld and then we'll come back out one more time to see <laughs> if they came back. Maybe. We won't put this down just yet. <laughs> we got up so early today is we wanted to get out to the Solhe Massander plane wreck. There's a plane wreck somewhere out here on this massive black rock piece of land <laughs> out near the ocean. It's kind of crazy guys. A US Navy plane, a DC-3, that crash landed here back in 1973. They don't really know why it crashed exactly, even though all five of the passengers did survive the crash. They don't know exactly why it crashed. Ran out of fuel, hit a storm, I don't know. But it did crash very close to the ocean. So thankfully he made it onto land. The US Navy decided to leave it there. They thought it was too difficult to get it out. So they stripped it of anything like sensitive and they left the plane there on the beach. And it's kind of become this iconic spot here in Iceland, especially for photography. Cause you just have this massive hole of this old plane sitting on this black rock beach. Like how cool is that? So this was definitely high up on our list of things to do while here in Iceland. You do have to be dedicated because you have to make Make the hike out there. I hear it's about an hour each way. We'll confirm that once we actually get there. But we're so excited to see it. We there yet? 
No, but I'm breaking into my snacks already. <laughs> what do you got there? I got the... Ooh. Yeah, protein bar. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I can't get it open. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take my gloves off, you guys. I just can't do it. <gasps> oh! <laughs> See, babe, I am capable. All right, keep moving, lady. Okay. Follow the protein bar. my glove. You guys, it's warming up out here. We are almost there. We can see the mist from the ocean coming at us. We actually just ran into some friends that we met earlier on in the trip at the hot springs that we went to. And I'm telling you, it's just so fun. We keep running into people that we've already met and it's just cool. They're all from different countries and I just love it. I love it so much. This has been insane and I cannot wait to see this plane. crash site. <laughs> this is so cool guys. The ocean is just a little bit that way. We've got a dude on top of it right now getting a sick drone photo. This was well worth the walk. We're gonna yeah. go inside there, check it out, get some photos. Of course, I'll just grab the tripod. We're gonna get set up. Well guys, we have made it inside the abandoned plane. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> that cockpit um, I know, I is gone. Really, I was really hoping to sit in the old captain seat, but uh, looks like that's not possible. <laughs> kind of get out of the wind in here though. I know, it's nice. <laughs> This is cool. I actually read that a farmer was using this for a while to store a bunch of his farm equipment. It is like filled with dirt and stuff in there so you can actually walk around pretty easily. Today is November 20th and I read that this thing actually crashed on November 21st which is tomorrow. So tomorrow will be I think like the 49th anniversary of this thing making its home here on this beach. <laughs> We successfully Sorry. made it back to the car, and now we are going to attempt to climb to the top of Skogafoss Waterfall, which is right here behind us, but the winds are raging. Like, it's really windy down here. I don't know where it came from. Well, it was kind of windy out by the plane, and then the walk back, it was like nothing, and now here, we literally drove down the road like five minutes. minutes. Yeah, <laughs> five, 10 minutes, and we crossed 
to the other side of the road and now it's like we're in a freaking hurricane. That is cold. But first, Shell's trying to entice these sheepies I'm to trying come to over get them here. To come over here. <laughs> they're so fluffy and they got their little horns. They're, they're so cute. cute. They're just nibbling all this delicious grass. I just want to give them a big bear hug. <laughs> they're cute. They're very not interested in us. They don't the horses, care. a car pulls up and all the horses immediately come over. But for some reason, these little sheepy, they just don't even care about me. Well, that's because they're eating. I get it. I know exactly how they feel. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Nope, nothing. <laughs> he didn't even budge. I've been doing kissing noises. I've been doing little clicks. I've been doing sheep calls. Goodness. I've been saying, come here. <laughs> None of them have even looked up at me. I just want to say hi. They're so cute. <laughs> Look at them. I just want to go hug one. You guys, we have made it to the infamous Skoga Foss. We are here and wow, it's definitely not disappointing. It is so beautiful. It's huge. It's like ginormously bigger than I feel like I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting, but this is monstrous. And it's beautiful and I want to get a closer look. Let's go. <laughs> Gotta stay warm. The winds are definitely blowing hard. Which is probably why there's so few people here. I imagine there's normally a lot more people here than this. But we're gonna get right up in there and get some photos. This thing is epically massive. Well, even back here, I'm feeling the mist from the waterfall and like seeing it fall down. And there's a rainbow in there too. Oh, the rainbow's beautiful. So this is the base of Skoga Falls, obviously right here. But over here to the side, they also have a stairway that goes all the way up to a lookout way up at the top there. So we're definitely gonna go check that out. Obviously we have to, we're here. But first, we're gonna approach the base. This massive rainbow going from one end of the waterfall all the way to the other. It's like blowing our mind and it's so bright. We're getting closer. As we get closer, we're definitely getting more wet. Some people are just walking out of here. Their jackets were absolutely soaked. But how epic is that rainbow? I want to start venturing a little bit closer. I'm attempting to walk into the rainbow right now. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I can see the end of both sides. There's pots of gold right here, about 10 feet away from me. Wow, this is unreal. closest we're gonna get for we're now. We're in the waterfall basically. <laughs> we're getting soaked. All these rocks we're walking on are like covered in a thin layer of ice. Yeah, They're, they're so, so slippery. slippery. This is so cool. Very cool. All right I think we're gonna go try and go up to the top. It's definitely getting more crowded down here but how epic is this? <laughs> we're going up. We're gonna hike to the top. It looks like it's just a bunch of stairs. It's easy. I do the stair climber every once in a while at the gym. <laughs> we'll be golden. <laughs> Let's go. Climbing up the stairway up to the top lookout point here at Skoga Foss. And it's very nice. It's a very nice stairway. Bunch of metal stairs. Very secure. Very user friendly. This is crazy. We're feeling the mist. The waterfall's right around this corner, but we're feeling the mist all the way over here on the staircase. I'm a little bit out of breath. Shell does the stair mill at the gym a lot more often than I do. All right, probably halfway there.
What do you think? This is amazing. <laughs> you come here, you definitely have to make the trek to the top. It's really not bad. <laughs> All right, we made it to the top of Skogafoss. It is unreal up here. We've got the river just flowing like crazy, and it is so stinking beautiful. It could not be more perfect of a day. The sun is shining so bright, and it feels so good on our cold little faces. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys, the excitement doesn't stop here. We have another adventure ahead of us, and it's not the stairs <laughs> down like Daniel said, <laughs> although that will be an exciting adventure. I think down's gonna be scarier than coming up. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go! The sun is starting to set out there. Very, very pretty, but it's getting very cold. She'll graduate yeah. to her big coat. I swapped out my little wind rain parka for my big puffer, because without that sun, it's a little bit chillier. I, I've honestly been great. I feel like today's been great. The wind is cold, but it's not bad. Just our hands, I feel like, are getting really cold after a while. <laughs> Operating camera gear and things like that. Without gloves, our hands get cold, and we just need a quick warm up. <laughs> yeah. So we warm up in the car every now and then. Right now, we're going to see another waterfall. This is right next to Skogafoss. This one's called Vernafoss and it's up this little canyon and we hear you can walk behind it. Much like Cellulandfoss that we did the other day. Kind of walk behind this thing. I really am not wanting to get wet right now because <laughs> it's cold <laughs> but absolutely we're going to walk behind it. We're going to do what it takes, you know. See absolutely. The waterfall. And we've heard that this one is super awesome. Just as awesome and epic as all the other ones that we're seeing but it's way less popular because I think just less people know about it. So so I'm kind of excited, hoping that maybe we have it almost to ourselves. <laughs> so we're just about to head up this canyon here, and at the end of it is our waterfall. bend and there she is Vernu Foss waterfall and this is unbelievable but there's not a soul back here not another person oh who's that okay oh, one me. other person we are the only ones back here at the moment and it is gorgeous we got the sun kind of shining through you see all the gold on the cliff side but wow this is unbelievable very short hike up the canyon to get back here well worth it this is incredible guys this is actually not on our original itinerary, but numerous people have told us if we're coming to see Skogafoss, take the time, go up the road just a little bit and see this one. I'm glad that they've been telling us this stuff. All right, you guys, it is freezing. The sun is like behind all these mountains, but there's a tiny little pathway that goes all the way around the back, and I feel like we have to do it even though it's freezing and we're gonna get soaking wet. Let's go. Let's go. The cameras are definitely getting wet and they're probably gonna get frozen here. Oh my god! <laughs>
All right, we're gonna hike on out of here through the wet zone, but holy this crap, is a splash zone this down was here. awesome. This was insane, and we literally are here alone. This is awesome. <laughs> I wonder how often this happens. Literally by ourselves. All right, splash zone, here we come. Splash zone, ready! Starting to cool off in the afternoon, evening, and all the water that this thing throws out starts turning to ice. You good? I'm good! Hey! Here we go! We came to get some dinner at the soup company because what else do you eat on a freezing, cold, windy day other than soup? We oh, just got coming. our size. Oh, here's our soup. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> this is so cool. Oh my gosh. It's in a bread bowl. Soup company, I'm already a fan. All right, we got a beef soup here, served in a black bread bowl. I'm gonna give you, I'm assuming it's Greek yogurt. Icelandic yogurt. To put inside of it. Well, we have made it back safely to our beautiful Airbnb. I kind of can't get over how beautiful this place is. Like, it's very beautiful. <laughs> We're currently staring out our giant window here, just waiting and watching and hoping and praying for some Northern Light activity yet again tonight. We were lucky enough to see them last night. We would love to see some again tonight. It's a super clear night. Yeah, you guys saw how clear it was all day today. So hopefully it's clear through the night. Probably peek out every hour or so as we were editing and see if we, we can find any. Hour. <laughs> You can Fingers do every crossed. 30 minutes. Set Fingers an alarm. crossed. I know, we need to. We just need like a northern light alert. We need like an alarm to go off like, they're on! I know, that and would be we'll the be best. Yeah, then, then we'll be go awesome. out. You guys, today was beyond amazing. I'm not lying when I say I feel like every day is getting better. Like, this place is unreal. So beautiful. Such a dream to be here. I absolutely have loved everything about this trip. And we're like only halfway done, I feel like, right? Please tell me. I'm close. I don't want to be Maybe done. Maybe a little more. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to hear. This has been too amazing, you guys. And tomorrow we just have a ton more. So you make sure you guys come back. We love you all so much. Thank you for watching, and we'll see Good you next night, time. Good night, everyone.